then Kun Mong was making an, a uh, comment about if Rick and Morty had paid to be uh, in this game. Are we D-Class? So Jair, you know a lot about SCP. Are you a big fan of SCP? Because I must... Like I said, Barefoot Gremlin, shout out to him. He gave me a copy of this game. He picked it up for like 20 cents from some sale. And so tonight we're checking it out to see if it's worth 20 cents. Which I'm thinking it's probably worth 20 cents. D-503 was given no clear instruction of the task to be completed. He must find them out for himself. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, we actually get to drive the truck. Objective, collect the waste. All right. I guess we're going to collect some waste, wherever that is. Oh, we got the red dots up on the radar. Y'all see the radar right above me. This is where all the waste is, right here. Alright, we got some waste here. We're collecting the waste. Woohoo! Damaged petrol tank. Plastic petrol tank, hard to decompose even after 100 years. One of the more stubborn pieces of waste. All right, we got one. Oh yeah, we're on fire, top secret. We're on fire, bro. Hey, guy K is in the house. What's up? By the way, guys, don't forget to click that like button tonight if you haven't done so already. I sure would appreciate that. Helps out the stream tremendously when you do. And we all like to be tremendous, do we not? But I'm driving this truck, picking up garbage in a desert. And it makes me get out of the truck every time to get this stuff. Oh, we got a, uh... What is this, a roadblock? A blue roadblock. Although the triangular support structure is extremely stable, even it cannot withstand the erosion caused by the desert. Oh yeah, sand will eat something. That, oh, sand will wear stuff out. It ain't no joke. Yeah, it's pretty cool, Top Secret, that we get to have a little radar where we can find all the junk. At first I was like, oh no, this is going to be a pain. Then I happened to see the radar, so that's huge. One second here, let's see here. We'll do a pin message. Guy K, you get the pin message, bro. Uh, right now, uh, Ethan B. Ethan B, my brother, welcome. What we're doing in the game right now, we are an employee of SCP. We just got hired, and this is part of our onboarding training. Now, as we're about to, I think we're about to find out this training is not something that normal companies would put you through. Somehow we ended up in a desert. I don't know how we ended up in this desert, but we went into a room, which I thought was a classroom. Now we're in a desert, wearing a hazmat suit, picking up trash. A rusted iron pipe, an iron pipe whose valve was too rusty to turn. Could have been recycled, but humans still chose to throw it away. When you get time, you should try a demo called the Axis Unseen. Hey, I sent you a video about that, dude. I do want to try it out. Okay, says Jair. I did. I did. I sent you and Scott a video about that. Because it was talking about how he had worked on the game that was on Grandma's Boy. Hope I got water, Ethan. No, I don't think they gave me any water, unfortunately. I think we are in... Oh, look at this truck. Oh, we got it up on the side and we landed it. We're, we're Grand Theft Auto in this dude. Yeah, I definitely want to try that game out, uh, Destro. It definitely looks cool. The Axis Unseen. Well, I do plan on checking it out this weekend. I'm going to be off work for the first time this month on the weekend. So I'm ready for that. So let's check out. Get more garbage here. 
But right now, all I'm doing is gathering garbage, in case you're wondering. This is really basic so far. I figure once we collect all the garbage, something crazy is going to happen. A damaged tin drum. A tin drum with a danger sign on it. Having once protected hazardous liquid from leaking, it was discarded upon the completion of its mission. Your favorite SCP is SCP-173. What does SCP-173 do? Jair, educate us. Let us know what that is about, because I have no idea who that is. But if you like it, it must be cool. That's all I know. Hey, Jadova, did you check your tracking? It's supposed to be coming tomorrow, according to the tracking. For your package. Alright, one more piece of garbage here. Again, this is all part of our training to join this organization, so who knows what the point of this is. Yeah, Memphis. Okay, good. You got you did get the, the uh, got to check the track and that's good. A discarded tire filled with sand after vehicles become became the main form of transportation, discarded tires began to grow in numbers. Your favorite SCP is called the Hungry Sand. Is this it right here? This one? Then this is an SCP, this whole area. Alright, object. Move to the incinerator. Oh, I think this is over here is the incinerator. No, yeah, I'll be shocked if it comes tomorrow too, uh, Destro. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, yeah, probably Friday. <laughs> But I don't hate the animation in this game so far. I think it's good. Damage patrol tank. Discarded roadblock. Rusted iron pipe. Damage tin drum. Discarded tires. Please pull down the lever to incinerate. All right, here we go. It's incineration time. Oh, that's a pretty hot fire. So what's the point of this? I don't know yet. Great question. What's going to happen here? All right, we're seeing some smoke come this out. This was D-503's first day of work. Very mundane. But SCP protocol mandates that D-503 now undergo a psychological evaluation. For what? Okay. I guess we're going to go through a psychological uh, evaluation here. Please take the level 2 mental test to assess your current mental state. Here we go. Please drag the left graphic fragment into the back square area to fill the whole square area. What the? Oh, it's just a puzzle. Okay. We can figure this out. I surely, surely we can. Boom! Alright, another puzzle to go. Here we go. Alright, so far I'm not doing a good job here. Aha, there we go. Come on. You can stay. Gotta love a good puzzle. Oh, there we go. Now we got it. Thank you for sharing the stream, guy. Ice cream truck win is really cool, too. What the ice cream truck? What? Rank. I got fourth place. Look at me go. Today's work is complete. The system will settle the contract time. That's not good. Why do we get to eat food now? It is absolutely a big, juicy burger. Oh, they just threw it in the ground.
I think we're going to pass on eating that. Well, never mind. Looks like we have to get it. Picked up the hamburger dropped from the window. I got a, an achievement for that. It's very rude, Ethan. I mean, come on. I worked hard to get this sandwich, and the guy's like, bloop, bloop. Have you heard of the spooky game series Ice Cream? Ice Cream. No, I haven't heard of that. I mean, I've heard the commercial, this you know. Ice Cream, you scream. We're all screamed from ice cream. Does that count? So what's it about? What's the ice cream? You're ice probably wondering how can this scream about earn freedom for a death row inmate? I am wondering that. Five Nights at Freddy's Two reimagined on Roblox. Uh. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Raymond Ham from Site 83. Welcome to today's training conference. Well, I can't promise you that I would play Roblox. Today, I'll, I'll be I'm honest. I'm going to share with you a little project I've been working on called SCP-7457. We'll see what Dr. Ham's talking about you here. saw just now is SCP-7457. <laughs> you the baby? D-503 is a volunteer who we invited to help us learn more about this desert. Prior to the Foundation's involvement with SCP-7457, oh, okay. I see what's happening. 329 people so basically, we just got to see, we got to interact in that game, but we weren't we actually playing as Carl. We were just watching it, we attempt to find but we, you know, we kind of did it. We, we went through the, what this guy was going through, basically. Foundation, it will be good for you to learn about SCP-7457. Let me explain how it works. Before we get started... Are there any questions? Dr. Ham, I'm oh. Will Barton, third special squad. <laughs> These so guys are guys. like super Hello. Hollywood. Before I came here, I thought I had a basic understanding of the Foundation. I've heard of these anomalies, but only in terms of human God, anomalies. that sounds like a crazy game. I had no idea that SCP-7457 was a desert. An ice cream sandwich head. That's a good question. I gotta look at that. I gotta see all what that's all about. All the phenomena we are monitoring are being labeled anomalies. Human anomalies, regional anomalies, artifact anomalies, and various other phenomena beyond our control. So this is what I was kind of like about this the game, was I'm learning a little bit about this to isolate SCP foundation. And prevent the public from, shall we say, experiencing them? Okay, next question. Hello, Dr. Ham. I'm yeah, these are very similar to research intern from Metal Gear Solid. In a video, we saw D-503 picking up garbage in the desert. Why did it do that? And what does this have to do with anomalies? That's true. What is that okay, all about? Mark, what I can tell you now is that everything you see is part of SCP-7457. SCP anomalies can be a little difficult well, in fact, to SCP is a file transfer first. protocol. Secure Just copy protocol. It or they that is a fun fact to him on. I did not know that. Perhaps you'll understand what I mean. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid is the video. a solid game series. Okay, let's move on. Pun intended. I went to the First desert and picked up garbage normal. out there. However, there was an interesting occurrence on the eighth All right, day. All right, we go. I guess we're going to get to experience this now. Let's go. Eighth day. It's time for us to get back out there. Where were those all real names? I recognized Edith Finch. What names? What are you talking about? What names are you referring to? Was I not paying attention to the screen good enough? I didn't Let's see names. I wasn't looking for names. But basically, we're just reenacting what happens. Collect the waste. All right, we got to do it again. Here we go. Very dark out here. Next thing, can you please play Five Nights at Freddy's 2 Reimagine? Um, Jay, I probably will not play. Well, I say probably. I definitely will not play anything on Roblox. I just. I don't do Roblox. Because. Well, I, I've always had a standing policy not to play Roblox. I've thought about it in the past, but. I was always worried about. How many younger people were on that? And here lately, there's been some reports coming out. They've been doing some studies that there's a lot of bad actors on Roblox. So, 
at this point I'd had to say no because I don't want to be I don't necessarily want to associate myself with Roblox at the moment. Although I know kids, like young people love it and I get that. The surface of the barrel is corroded and the liquid inside is highly corrosive. I'm not sure if any of you guys heard about the Roblox situation, but it's pretty dicey if you ask me. So I have no idea if that's going to make um, I don't think I want another Five Nights at Freddy's game at the moment. I've, I've got another game that I'm thinking about playing. I picked it up. Silent Hill Homecoming. I'm thinking about playing that. Alright, picking up garbage again. I'm going to be good at picking up garbage. You know what's funny? They had it on sale. Silent, Homecoming, Silent Hill Homecoming was on sale for like six bucks. And I decided, well, I'll pick it up some other time. And it said, the sale ends today. And then I was like, whatever. And I happened to leave the screen up. Well, the next day I got on the computer and I saw the screen on. It refreshed. And they had it on sale for three bucks. It started a new sale. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll pay three bucks. A rusty air conditioner. Modern human beings cannot live without air conditioners due to global warming. Yet the use of Freon in air conditioners also indirectly causes global warming. <laughs> I will wear my sanitation engineer badge. And Jair, I understand it's a single player, but just having Roblox I just don't know. I think I gotta I gotta see where they go from here after that investigation. I gotta see what they do with it. Because I know Roblox does have some interesting things on it, but it does. It looks like Roblox, the company that has it, does not protect their customers very well on there. It's from what the from what the research has shown, they're not good at protecting people who are on there. Whoa! Something just happened. We got a situation here. Oh, what is this thing? It looks like it's not going to be good. A black spindle. A spindle of thick black cable that is wound too tightly to see what's inside. It is much heavier than it looks and nobody knows why. It takes a lot of effort to carry. So Ethan, did you look that up and uh, verify what I was talking about? Oh, you, saw, you asked me the question and yeah, there was a lot of, um, I really don't want to say the word, but bad people on there who were trying to take advantage of children and stuff. Because the company, Roblox, didn't have a lot of, whoa, I just flipped this dude. Oh, we doing it. Look at that. Look at that trick. We did it. So, it's a sticky situation. It just came out. That story just came out like two days ago. So, Jair, I would say if you play Roblox or do anything online, especially, be careful over there, okay? Watch out for anybody that's trying to take advantage. We did. How did we do that? Well, it was something to do with that spindle of wire, huh? Ethan, you would block them immediately. What do you mean? If somebody was acting weird or something on there? Please take the level 2 mental test to assess your current mental state. Alright, let's see if we can do another test. Please select three pictures with triangle. Okay. Identification correct. Please continue. Select three pictures that calculation results are equal to five. <laughs> uh, five plus five plus five divided by three is five. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Woohoo! 
My math is still good, baby. 40 seconds. Why does the black cable look like a tornado? That's a good question. It was wound up pretty tight, it seems. Today's work is complete. The system will settle the contract time. <laughs> well, that first, I almost, I almost fell for that one. It's 5 plus 5 plus 5 divided by 3. Well, you're supposed to divide first. That's where I almost messed up. But the one at the top where it was 5 plus 5 plus 5 divided by 3 had the parentheses. You do the parentheses first. So 15 divided by 3 was 5. Boom. That's simple math, but I've always been good at simple math at least. Now, I was decent at algebra, but I was the worst at geometry. Geometry was... Ugh, I hated geometry. What? What is your favorite math out there, guys? What what math did you like? What math did you not like? Analysis tells us that D503 is Okay, so far this is pretty cool. I like this. We have no way of This also reminds me of like the Twilight Zone. Oh, we don't know what he dreamed of. But what are we about to do? Are we about to see what he dreamed? <laughs> oh, the times tables. That was always my favorite. <laughs> Kun Mong, I don't know. I think you might be alone with that one, bro. <laughs> you might be on your own with that one. Okay, here's the names you were talking about. Edith Finch, yeah, that is recognizable. impact on D503. Are there any questions before we go on? Hello, Dr. Ham. I'm Spencer Jones from the Special Operations Department of Site 21. Jair, you don't know what kind of math you like and don't it's like? It's still unclear as to why D-503 needs to pick up all of this trash. If you wanted to monitor his psychological response to SCP-7457, why not just leave him out in the desert? It's a great question. Why assign him these tasks when there are already psychological evaluations taking place? Okay, our analysis has indicated that SCP-7457 oh. produces a new cluster of trash every 8 minutes and 37 seconds. If waste collection is not done regularly, all that trash may soon flow into our... Oh, that's got to be a torture right there. It is worth noting, though. You have a monster that produces trash. Created here pales in comparison to the amount produced by humans. Oh. However, it oh. still has the potential to become a significant... Took a little jab at us humans here. By assigning these tasks to D-503, we can monitor his reactions while also containing the trash. There is another reason, but we will get to that one later. Oh, mystery. Is the case that the Foundation is exaggerating the importance of a minor issue before the issue is fully understood? Okay, everyone. I must emphasize that behind us is the general public. General public. Who are wholly unaware of any of this. Being meticulous and maintaining a serious attitude is essential at the SCP Foundation. Any oversight or underestimation of the enemy may result in disaster. Thank you, Dr. Ham. I understand. She understands. Good. Let's move on. The effects of SCP-7457 on D-503 became most obvious on day 15 of the test. Oh. Day 15 getting intense. Due Here we to the go. conditions that day, we were only able to track his movements after recovering data from his radar. It was definitely a bad day, perhaps the worst, even for a death row inmate. So you were, you remember being enamored with different bases, elementary school, and the display the teacher set up. Then uh, that was before learning about binary and hexadecimal. Yeah, binary was always fun to, to deal with. Hexadecimal. I did that in college. Do I remember? No, I don't. But I do remember doing it. 
As far as bases go. Found a radar that perfectly resembles his own. Oh, we found a radar. World War, World War II type. There's a lot of abrasion on the display as well as the handle. The receiver isn't working anymore. We did not think much of it. So that was your favorite math? Was the so you like binary and hexadecimal? You like multiplication then, Jair. Like one times one is one. Or one times two is two. Or one times three is three. Four times four is sixteen. Seven times seven is forty-nine. Eight times eight is sixty-four. Oh 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 I love that. I love times table. We used to do a game at, at, in my class. It was called Trip Around the World. And then the teacher would throw up a flashcard of a multiplication. And whoever answered it. Oh, here we go. We got another anomaly with the cables here. But whoever answered it the fastest, you had like a duel. You got, if whoever fastest got to move to the next person in a duel. And if you made it all the way around the classroom, you won a prize or whatever. So yeah, Kun Ma, you definitely seem to know a lot about math. I'm not a, I like math. I like, I like simple math or that's, you know, you can mix in a few letters of the alphabet, sure. But don't be throwing any geometry shapes and stuff like that in there. I'm, I've lost. A spindle of thick black cable that is wound. Okay, we got that. Oh, what did you think about the Wendy's Krabby Pate? Was the secret sauce any good? See, I was going to get one the other day because I had a coupon on Wendy's app. It's like $2 off premium combo. So I ordered the premium. I ordered the Krabby Patty combo, but they don't consider that a premium combo. So they weren't going to give me my coupon. And I was like, well, then I'm going to order something else. Fine with me. So I just ordered a regular Dave's burger, which I loved. It was delicious. So what did you think about the special secret sauce, the Krabby Patty sauce? The well, trigonometry and differential equations were a couple of your least favorite. You know, it's funny. I was I used to be in spelling bees and stuff when I was in school. And my brother, my older brother, he goes by Death Dealer on YouTube. He came to our class to help us spell words one day. Or I think I had, he had to take me home or something. But anyway, he came in there and he taught us how to, he taught us how to spell trigonometry. Persistent adverse physiological Collected reactions. all garbage and daily mission. What's good? He's he like, it's how you spell it. Trig, O, no, me, try. So it was a good way to teach it because I never forgot it. Trigonometry. Trig, O, no, me, try. Uh oh. A sandstorm. We got a sandstorm coming in, y'all. This is getting weird. D503 walked in the sandstorm for a long time, but he couldn't seem to find his way back. Oh, he was supposed to have stickers with it. I didn't know that. Went with a single, nice. So, the, the one thing I did have was the Frosty. I did try the Pineapple Frosty. Uh, okay, we're let's go ahead and follow this. But I'm gonna tell you this: the pineapple, un, pineapple under the sea frosty, is a vanilla frosty. Well, I don't like calling it vanilla frosty because the vanilla ice cream that Wendy's has is nowhere near as good as a chocolate normal frosty, the or OG frosty. Their their vanilla ice cream is terrible. It is is terrible. And this was no different when they gave me the pineapple under the sea frosty. The, the pineapple sauce they put on it was good. I had no issue with that. But the ice cream itself, bland. No flavor. It was just really, really not good. Oh, you've gotten off the windows. Yeah, thank God we found it. Um, what? 
the? This is some weird stuff. What the? No, I don't. I'm gonna go back. I'm out. Uh uh. I think this is the guy from the thumbnail that you that you see on this video. Um, I will tell you this about fast food prices. What the heck? One thing I'll tell you about fast food prices is get the mobile app. Whatever restaurant it is. Lie. Oh, this is definitely see this is what the thumbnail is right here. I got the picture off of Steam. So I just I found the coolest looking one. And this is one I felt to be the coolest looking one. This guy looks like he's in rough shape. Oh, look at all the ra uh, radar guns. Whoa! Is this the anomaly? I think it is the anomaly. Help me! And there's a random phone booth up on the top of a mountain. Boom, boom. It was getting intense. Oh. Have you ever experienced a call from an unknown this, voice? This is Twilight Zone. <gasps> Grumpy Bear, welcome to the stream. Good evening. How are you? Well, I'm not sure what's going on right now, but this has got some weird vibes here. Visibly trembling D5 well, I'm glad to hear that, Grumpy Bear. Thank you for joining us. Really good to have you. Immediately performed a psychological evaluation. <laughs> Kung Long, it is a SpongeBob reference. Who? That's why the Frosty is called Pineapple Under the Sea Frosty. Who lives in the pineapple under the sea? Please take the level two mental test. Uh oh. Major fluctuations can now be observed in D503's physiological. Oh, he's in trouble. He's in bad shape. D503 is losing his mind. The results of the psychological evaluation. Wow, they wouldn't even let us see the results because it was so bad. Oh, he's like, he's over it. He is over it. Was able to break away from the foundation's control. Ooh, look at him go. There was a big hole behind that TV. It wasn't very secure. He has seen the test results of other level D personnel were analyzed at SCP-7457. We go, baby. Let's get out of here. That's right. None of the level D personnel at SCP-7457 Whoa. All right, well, I don't know if we're going to either, but we're going to try. We are going to try our best. Whoa, no! This thing is very unstable to be a huge, heavy dump truck. we got to drive up the mountain. That's the only way we can get out of here, the mountain. Oh, I don't think it mattered. It just wanted me to drive. <laughs> People are loving the SpongeBob's. People are really loving the SpongeBob Krabby Patty situation. I'm seeing a lot of TikTok videos where people are going up to the drive-thru and ordering um, as different SpongeBob characters. They're using the voices of the different SpongeBob characters and. They're trying to make the people that work at Wendy's laugh, and I think they're doing, they're, they're succeeding. It's, they're doing a good job. D503 heard the call. All right, well, we've ended up in some situation. So they're going for like a Twilight Zone vibe here, and I like it. I dig this. Is it? humans form only a small part of this world. Out there, in the unknown world, we are as 
Yeah, they have Kun Long for sure. Now, as I was saying earlier, Wendy's the p pineapple under the sea frosty isn't that good. Not because of the pineapple, but because of the ice cream. Wendy's that vanilla ice cream that they're calling a frosty is a disgrace. It is an embarrassment to be called. If I'm a frosty, a chocolate flavored frosty, I'd be embarrassed to be associated with that vanilla frosty. It is terrible. Well, this is quite weird. It's like a um, intertwining of cables and telephone booths. Oh, they got all the telephones in this booth. Imagine getting in a telephone booth that's got six phones in it. I bet some people will say, this looks AI generated. It's got six phones in one phone booth. I have seen that movie, guys. Good movie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We just got, we just, it just killed us, I guess. Are we dead? I think we're dead. Oh. Oh. He ended up in the wrapped up cables. That's he. The wrapped up cables was dead bodies the whole time. Or, yeah, he just got incinerated. Oh man! Oh, poor D five hundred three. Not only did he get wrapped up in the wire and killed, he'd done that to two other people previously. So those were human beings he was throwing up into the fire. Thank you, Jair. I love you being here at the live stream. It's awesome having you with us. All the data we have came from this radar. You did a good job. That was a good guess, Kumar. People entering SCP-7457 will suffer varying degrees of psychological stress within an acute period. It manifests... So that's what the radar was for. And they found one. That was because there was a, a dead person out there. So far, not one participant has left the desert unscathed the foundation has tested yeah some big mental games we just happening with that monster area spanning 2267 square miles that's actually pretty cool our testing continues when you work for the foundation you will face various anomalies i like this some can kill you some may drive you crazy and some will make you feel that living is worse than death let this be very clear SCP-7457 is just a taste just a of what you will taste. face in the future. Just a little. Before joining the Foundation, you were all leaders in your respective fields and industries. Researchers, special forces, FBI agents, national We were just some guy in a restaurant eating a waffle. Well, <laughs> SCP does not care how smart you are, how accomplished you are. It doesn't matter to them how many doctorates and titles you have. You are no different from helpless ants when confronted with these anomalies. Remember this. It is the most important advice you will He's receive. very serious. Do not take risks. You will die. That's been my philosophy for a long time. You think you are. Do not take risks. If you encounter oh, no, an I anomaly, definitely know I'm not special. put your pride and curiosity aside. But I do try. Run. Because that's the only thing you can do. He's serious about God this. won't protect you here. Whoa. Welcome to the Foundation, rookies. Well, he's very serious. I'm Dr. Raymond Ham, and this ends the first class of our employee induction program. First class done, y'all. Look at us. So that's basically what this game's going to be right here. Training course has ended. Please add your comments. Oh, here we go. How do we want to rate this story? Let's go ahead. Please evaluate the training course. The course was arranged appropriately. What do you guys think? Four out of five? Three out of five? What rating would you give it as far as how the course was arranged appropriately? What do you think? The next one is the lecturer was qualified. We have the same situation. Guy goes with a four. Does anybody disagree with Guy? Or 
Anything about the four star on the course was arranged appropriately. And guy, I would do want to do want you to show your work. Why only four stars out of five? What made you take away a star? And it can be any reason you want because it doesn't matter. Just throw us one. Give us a funny reason why you only gave it a four star. I want a funny reason. It would be fun to see if we give it all low marks. Interesting. I say, yeah, that's a good idea, Kumon. We could see what would happen like, if there's certain things that would happen based on what the ratings are. Mainly because you weren't able to make it to the beginning. <laughs> I was late for class, so I'm rating this class a four star because I was late. It's my fault. Kumon, I like that suggestion. Let's do it. Let's try that. Connection was smooth, one star. Notice of the meeting was punctual, one star. Don't really feel anything. Submit. Thank you for your feedback. We wish you success in your work. All right. Looks like there's some messages here. Hiya, Carl. How did it feel? To be honest, to be honest I feel uncomfortable. Anyone got an aspirin? I could use a few. That's what we're going to go with. Hey, buddy, don't throw up on the floor. Stop messing with him, Stuart. Carl, that was only the beginning. You gotta learn how to get used to it. Live with it. Gotcha. And and everyone here wants to teach you something, Carl. Live with it. Come on, Stuart. Thank you. I feel much better. Carl being super nice. In any case, you're welcome to join us, Carl. Smiley face. Big smiley face. Past hour has been torture. I don't know how the others managed to hold on. I messed up during the training session. I jumped off a cliff, fell into the icy water, and choked hard. I don't know how I even recall any of this because I have no mercy, no, no memory of ever visiting any cliffs or waterfalls. But it was also real. I can even taste it in my mouth now. The foul taste of the river water. But in any case, this is my first day at the foundation. I gotta go to the cafeteria and get something to eat. Maybe that'll make my stomach feel better. It's cafeteria time. Is it actually going to make me go to the cafeteria? Five out of five from Jair. I thought it was an interesting story. I, li I did like how that, that twisted at the end. I was like, oh, the anomaly is wrapping them up in the wire. Ooh, that's pretty cool. So I did like how that one ended. My legit rating was five as well, Jair. I agree. Although... I thought it was a funny idea that Kun Mong suggested us to uh, put all one stars. We'll see if that affects anything later. All right, more messages. Looks like he's giving people their side of it. And we're not going to get any assignments. I'm just going to have to do some more training. Why am I being assigned to field work again? Something went wrong at Site 74. Personnel from other departments went to provide support. So we need to take on more field work. It's just like I said, our department should be renamed Relief Station. Stop complaining, Gent. Carl, how do you feel now? I'm ready for a new job. Let's go. <laughs> Kumar, I show no mercy, my friend. I am brutal. So is my friend, Bugly Donnie. Oh, you can't. Bugger Donnie, he's brutal too. You don't want to, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't mess with Fugly Donnie, bro. Don't do it. Don't do it. This is your first mission, Carl. Review the archives and organize them according to the requirements. Do not underestimate the task at hand. Go and finish it. I'll do my best. Good luck, Carl. All right, we have our first real job now. Just one thing, MIT boy. Strictly follow the regulations and do not act on your own without authorization. I'm not an idiot, but thanks for the advice. This reminds me of my first mission. Wubba lubba dub dub. There's more Rick and Morty. All right, let's move. We got more Rick and Morty here. Oh, I did spend time with Cobra Kai. Actually, I was more of an Eagle Fang Karate trainee instead of Cobra Kai. 
Eagle Fang taught me everything I needed to know. Because I do like to bite like an eagle. Enter data regarding the investigation's reports into the archive system on the right method of operation. Oh, on the right, method of operation, click text with red underline. After clicking, the data dragging effect will be activated. Drag it to the archive system on the right. Left click to release data. Data will be uploaded automatically. After entering all data into the archive system, click submit. All right, we've got some recordings here. <clears throat> I'm Agent Q from the Accident Investigation Department. Containment breach occurred at Pony Station and contact with the Foundation has been lost. Agent Bella Lawrence was given orders to enter Pony Station and retrieve the black box. Following is a transcript of the interview with Bella Lawrence. Bella. All right, so we're getting to listen to some audio here. Oh, we're going to get to see some video, too. What's with the black box, I wonder? Blood pressure 175 over 110. I've been seeing mild contortions. I administered five milligrams of medical to help control blood pressure. This Dr. Dre specific about what he says. Bella. Give him this to do this. Like the nurse is like, I know, doctor, I know what you're for. Uh the drugs seem to be taking effect. Go ahead and ask questions. I can't be certain how long should stay away from. Where's the black box, Sparrow? Oh, she's never gonna tell. She will not tell. Ninja Turtle. I also have Fugly Leo here. <laughs> Fugly Leo's awesome too. I brought it back. I brought the black box back. Don't lie to us. You never brought it back. No. Agent X is upset. Impossible. I remember. I completed my assigned task. I... I swear... I... Shit. Uh. All right, here now. Whew. This isn't an intention. That was a... Um, you might have heard that, squeal, that squeaking in your ear too, guys. That really did not feel good. Who was this guy? Staying very mysterious. Bella, I'm terribly sorry to have to bother you in such a state, but it is critical that we find that black box. We need to know what happened at Pony Station. Down at the Pony Club. I mean, Pony Station. Memories a mess at the moment. That's fine. We'll yeah, take it if you're not wearing headphones, you were very fortunate there. Because I was like, Why don't ooh. We start from the moment you it was really hitting my left ear. Tell us what you remember. I'll try. All right, we're doing a little flashback here. That night. You know what this reminds me of? The mission site, Site 74, Pony Station. We'll arrive in about three minutes. <gasps> Very good, Sparrow. It's been 48 hours Excuse since me, the Foundation I'm lost contact with Pony Been up Station. since like four o'clock this morning. SCB yeah, let's forgive me. Experiments there have been ongoing. We have reason to suspect a containment breach. What is my mission? According of course, that's why I'm drinking Red Bull. I need my energy for tonight. Area to assist in identifying the cause of an accident, should one occur. Your task is to investigate the situation and retrieve the black box. Anybody here would like to drink Red black Bull? Box? Got it. My favorite flavor is this one. It's blueberry. Okay. I'm blueberry, alive. I love you. I think say we're going to drive something else. All right, now we're walking in the woods. All right, we can sprint with shift. Authorized personnel only. And there's a random light in the middle. Of I'm able to observe the mission site from the here. The woods. But it doesn't seem like one of the foundation's secure facilities. Pony Station, officially known as Site 74. 
All right, here we go. Here's the pony station. Power station. After it was abandoned, the foundation repurposed it as one of their sites. Initially, it was used only to contain a few safe level anomalies, but recently it's also taken over SCP-701. I don't know all the details. We won't know the truth until you retrieve the <laughs> Red Bull gives you wings. It does give you wings. Also gives you crash. Like, like I'm going to barely make it to 9 o'clock. So, so far, what do you guys think about this game? I'm enjoying it. I think this is actually really neat. It reminds me of those compilation horror movies where somebody in the movie will find, like, uh, like they had one called VHS, and they'll find a VHS tape, and they watch it and it's got like different horror stories on it basically and this is what this game reminds me of it's like a video game version of that I only drink sugar free those flavors aren't available sugar free oh man yeah if you're on sugar free yeah you can't get the blueberry I'm not on sugar free yet but I'm sure I'll end up on that bandwagon at some point is this the first game in this series uh, it's not the first game in the SCP series. They, they made this SC, They made this game as like a a tribute to the SCP games because one of the big things that people like about the SCP games is the anomalies and their backstories and what they do and all that. Actually, there was a guy, AVG. Uh, he used to come to the streams a lot back in the day, and he created a channel that where he would create these little animations with different SCPs would fight against each other. And he blew up. Like his channel went, he started off, you know, a couple hundred subscribers probably. Boom. When he started that doing SCP content, whew, he had like 15, 20,000 subscribers very quickly. I wonder if he's still making content. I need to check on him. Ooh, look at us. We got lots of good stuff in here. Looks like we're going to get this. A device capable of measuring the humes of an area and calculate the reality bending rate in real time. All right. Well, a reality anchor, a device capable of stabilizing the humes of surrounding areas. One of the best weapons for combating against reality bending and reducing the psychological damage in an area. So yeah, you got the Blair Witch does, you know, it does, I can see that, reminds you of that. All right, and we got this 60 milliliter per injection. It's a Y blocker. Inject this blocker to stop neutro neurotransmitters from behaving erratically as a result of unavoidable reality bending. The Polaroid photo of a black cube, the objective of this mission. Glenn Fittich Hydraulic Power Station 331-584-6951. And nothing on the back. All right, so we clean that suitcase out. Press control to crouch. All right, done. Oh, really? So you never heard of SCP games at all? Uh, yeah, if you, if you search SCP on Steam, you should get some results. Uh, the one I played, you know what? Let's look real quick. Because I hate to tell you, I hate to tell you some bad information. There's one I played. I think it was just called SCP. But anyway, this one looks like it's basically just inspired by the SCP games. Jair with the 505 for the game. Nice. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of content for SCP, yeah, bunch. This one, like I said, the only reason I decided to play it because the one I played before was the, some kind of like I don't even know. I hard to even explain what it was. It was just inside a facility, and you're trying to like figure something out, and but the monsters keep attacking you. It reminded me a lot of um, I can't think of the name of that Dagon game I used to play. I've just entered Pony Station. Retrieve the black box from the lab. Room 705. Alright, we're in the station. Seventh floor. Sparrow. Must 
Well, since y'all are enjoying the game, I will go I'm ahead and out. we'll do this again tomorrow night because this is supposed to be about a four-hour game. This is out of the safe range. I'll place a reality anchor. Let's have to turn on off the flashlight, okay? Oh, you hear that voice? All right, placing the anchor. This keeps our reality balanced. Much better. Oh, so the anomaly in here is really messing with stuff. The Titanic game being made has a SCP hidden in the ship as a joke. Oh, wow. Well, that'll do well. That's a good idea, though. SCP is really popular. It is a big deal. I do know that. Like I was telling you, my friend, he created that, and he made a lot of videos, and people were loving them. I found a 25-cent coin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, why did it just do that? Just, the one thing about this game is, like, if I right-click, it sometimes kicks me out of the game. But we got a quarter, so interesting. Setting resource request form. Scene, size, palace, forest, monastery, and banquet hall with the sizes. Okay. All the plans, including we the got a little cassette tape here. Have been disrupted. The actors of the whole site is theirs. They managed to procure a goddamn script from God knows where. They've taken over my laboratory accordingly. And Dr. Cooper, or whatever his name is, in particular, he puts on airs every time the operation starts as if everyone should listen to him. Who does he think he is? I have to let him know who's the boss around here. He must let them know who the boss is around here. So y'all are cool with that. We play this again tomorrow. Y'all would watch the rest of this. I since you're enjoying it already, we might as well try to finish it, right? All right. Let's make sure I've done everything from behind here. Oh, painting just fell off the wall. Yeah, I think so, guy. I think this is a good one to finish. And I do like the concept of it. Like, we're training. And... We're basically playing through the file that the train that the trainee's watching. Today I read Dr. George Thompson's research log for SCP-701. Could it be true? Has he really been performing comparison experiments on chimpanzees this whole time? What could he have planned? Does he not realize what he is up against? This whole thing is turning out to be an ungodly mess. It's now abundantly clear why the Foundation transferred him out of Pony Station, leaving me to take over his post. He was performing the experiment all wrong. The whole direction of the project was all wrong. SCP-701 holds great potential. I still believe that. I will have to adopt a new method of study. Efficient, fast, and direct. It all begins tomorrow. Dr. Tyler. Interesting. I've heard of this guy. A bit of an exception. Welcome back, Grumpy Bear. What have you missed? Well, we got through with that first uh, training and the anomaly. I'm not sure what you saw of that. The anomaly was wrapping up people and we were picking them up and throwing them in the incinerator. Well, the same fate happened to DS-503. Oh, no! It's a... It's a thing! Well, it's a wooden mannequin. Okay, that's very weird. Why would it be hanging from a rope out of a locker? Ooh, we got stuff. Duty regulations. Well, right now we're on the second um, section of the game. and We're doing a... Uh, our first assignment from the director. We have to organize some audio files. So we started listening to this one and it put us right here in the thick of things of what's happening. So now we're playing out what's happening inside the audio. All personnel on duty shall not leave early. Absence from work is strictly from prohibited. Personnel who cannot be on duty due to special circumstances shall promptly, shall promptly coordinate with the relevant site director. All personnel shall strictly comply with the prescribed regulations and rules pertaining to the access of classified files. All personnel on duty shall fill in the inspection form truthfully and correctly. 
If a situation that cannot be handled independently should arise, personnel must immediately report the incident. Spare key to room 101 placed under the fire pot in the visitor's lobby. If used, if used, please place it back in its original location. All right, so now we know where the key is. That's what that whole document was for, to teach us where the key is. So we've been undoing the plants, see. So. All right, so we got to have the key. So we know it's in the visitor's. There's a plant in the visitor's room, wherever that is. Let's see if we can find it so that we can open the door. Ooh. Can't look out that yet. Storage room. Stairs. Oh, here we go. We got the key. We got the key. Also got him Amanda the Adventure. Who? What is Amanda the Adventure? We are right now trying to find a key. Uh, where we're at now is some kind of research laboratory or something. We're here doing a little investigation. All right, we got the key to open the door, which is lovely. This is why it pays to read documents, everybody. Make sure you read the documents in these games. It'll give you all the hints and clues. Oh, what the... This looks cool. This is very spooky. Alright, here we go. We gotta bring the elevator up so we can walk across. No, we definitely wouldn't have found it. No big deal. It was a very good hiding spot. Very good hiding spot. And, and Kung Mong, I say this with all seriousness, I probably wouldn't have found it for a little while at least. I'd have been going around like, whatever. Although, I know I was checking the plants, though. So, I get what you're saying. I hear something with chains. Did y'all hear that? Oh, real terms. Gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I don't know about y'all, but that's the chains that does not make me feel comfortable. I'm not comfortable with the chains. Making all that noise. We can't mess with any of the machines in here, apparently. Whoa, that's rats. That is... Those are rats. Be honest. What would you do if you walked through an area like this and a bunch of rats started running out in front of you? Would you keep walking and exploring or would you get the heck out of there and turn around? Because you don't like rats. I have to admit, I probably, I probably wouldn't. Oh, that's a, that's a guy. Or is that a mannequin? Oh, he's gone. It's gone. Well, that was freaky deaky. A scary door to explore. Okay, now you're talking, guy. Me barefoot, excuse me. Now you're talking. That sounds interesting to me. Why is this plant a little wobbly? Hey, a key, or I think this plant will look better over there. A key! <laughs> well, it's a good thing the game was holding her hand a little bit and telling you basically where to go, which is appreciated. Quite honestly, I appreciate it. I got no problem with it. Oh, here we go. Supplied by Frandy's Department Store, purchaser Abraham Hydro Power Plant. Dave application, 21st of January, 2009. Multimeter 2, maintenance kit 2, wire cutters 3, hydraulic clamp 2, cable threader 2, arc lamp 4200. Wow, that's a lot of lamps. Somebody trying to do some serious situations up in here. Oh, I'm seeing people tied up over there. I don't know if I can even do anything over here. You can vault over there. The mannequins are sitting there waiting to die. 
There's nothing to see here, apparently. Let's vault. Why didn't we have the light on just now? This it was way darker. The to the seventh floor, then. Entrance card. I didn't like that sound. What we offered, the hanged king we served. I serve my king with my blood. Blissful suffocation, sacrifice of sin. What's this? Exactly. What's this? Whoa! Oh, Something attacked in her brain. Somebody attacked it real good. Oh, she's not doing very well. All right, we got the injection. Coming back to we're coming back to ourselves here. Super Horror Bro is scared of mannequins in games, so he wouldn't be having a fun time in this game. Um, mannequins are creepy. I'll give him that. He's not wrong. I'm very familiar with cognito acids. I've been trained to deal with them, but this wasn't anything. That was wild. That was weird and wild. I breathe. It was like there was a knot tied around my throat. I was weightless, hanging, gasping. No matter how much I struggled. Nothing helped. That does sound terrifying. But perhaps it was just a nightmare, though. No. We wake up from nightmares. Not from we wake up from nightmares, not this. It's a very good line. Very good line. Alright, we're headed down the elevator. Are you kidding me? Oh, we're stopping on floor four. Oh, and it's stuck. It's even more than All right, let's get reality going here. Oh, the more mannequins there, guy. Look at that. This reminds me of the Doctor Who episode. The, first, the very first Doctor Who episode with the new series. They had to deal with the uh, mannequins. Locked. There's a lot of inconveniently locked doors here. Well, I'm at a Red Bull, so if I fall asleep, y'all don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Whoa, hell no. Whoa. What the? That was scary. That was scary, y'all. Yes, I have seen the Weeping Angels guy, of course. That, is a, me, that was one of the best episodes ever. What's that say? Loud? Something. Something loud. I don't know. Oh, hello. Who reads a memo in front of a urinal? Duke Sortino. The chains of fate coil like a poisonous snake. It is not only me they seek to entangle, but also you. Gonzalo says, The curse before death is frightening indeed. Petruccio, get this meddler out of my sight. That dead men remain speechless. Petruccio extends the noose and strangles Sortino's neck. Traitor! Usurper! Arg! Yeah, that episode was really, really good. They did it. Oh, that just looked at me. Hey. Don't appreciate you looking at me, mannequin. I didn't do anything to you. There's some toilets. And more. Oh, what's it say? My king. Help. And that's it. My king help. Oh, that's a pretty cool guy. That's a nice little tribute to Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. I really like that show. The new. I haven't watched any of the later seasons lately. I've been kind of. Uh, away from it because there was a lot of episodes oh here we go another guy on the crapper Isabella if the lies of the monarchy were to be recorded in a book the archivist would never know a moment's rest and would evidently become overburdened with fatigue 
Maid Beatrice. Empress, Lord Antonio is here. Isabella, what is that you say? My estranged son? Why would he come to see me in the convent? Go get me my very best dress. At once. And prepare a glass of poisoned wine. Maid Beatrice says, as you say. Maid Beatrice, May Maid Beatrice leaves. Isabella, what sad truth. The dice rolls with lies and bears my name. And the martyr under this conspiracy shares my own flesh and blood. Oh, you're not a fake fan of it now? I know the season I was watching where they had the female doctor, which I liked her a lot, Jodie Whittaker. She was great. She played the character very well, but the storylines they were giving her were just not good. It was just boring. It was just very uninteresting. Too many side. They had way too many uh, uh, people tagging along with her. He's always, you know, the doctor's assistant. There's always going to be an assistant. But she had three people. And I was like, that's too... Did y'all hear that? There's a knock on the door. Welcome back, Jair. Welcome back. You're best in time for the monster to knock on this door and want me to come in there. At the Pink Pony Club. Oh, we're going to climb the ladder. Have y'all um, listened to any of those songs by Chappelle... What's her name? Chappelle Roan, I think. Yeah, her first season wasn't very good. It wasn't because of her, though. Could it have something to do with SCP-701? The situation here is much more serious than I expected. Yeah, if I take a sip... You say... Do it. Okay. How do we get down from here? Oh, just walk off. That's how you do it. Can we open any lockers here? Mm hmm. Oh, here's another mannequin, dude. Act 3, Persona, Gonzalo, Antonio, Alinda, Francisco, Isabella, Petruccio, Sortino, Atellis, Scene, Ballroom, Convent. Act Description, Gonzalo kills an eyewitness and orders the royal chef to make a stew from his body. The witness's daughter, Alinda, is then placed in the convent. Antonio and his squire enter the convent to confront the queen. She tries to kill Antonio, but he sees through her plan. She is left to suffer the consequences. As Antonio and his squire evacuate the monastery, they encounter the imprisoned Alinda. Whoa! Barry, a VTuber friend of mine, is considering the Silent Hill 2 remake. Um, the Silent Hill 2 remake definitely looks cool. They, they did a great job with it. Um, yeah, I won't be having time to play that because tomorrow night will be our last stream for this week. And we're playing this again. And then on Monday, no, Tuesday, I think we're going to try out it's all very unusual these another days. game. Many people have come to the site. Uh, oh, we're going to play Silent Hill Homecoming. I think that's what we're going to do next Tuesday. I've heard that Cuba and his team are rehearsing a script into a play. And that all participants are required to record their daily status. My experiment has to be put on hold because there's no one left to work on. It's not right. I'll write an email to the minister and inform him of the malpractice going on here. Who's that? Uh-oh. Who's that? He got attacked by something. Press E to switch pictures. The Hanged King's Tragedy. And we got floppy disks. Some of you probably do not know what these even are. But these are what we use to store information on. Like a USB thumb drive. This is like a USB thumb drive before USB thumb drives. And they did not have a lot of space on them. But they were for like small files and things of that nature. Floppy disks. 
This is a VHS tape. Some of you may not know what a VHS tape is. This was uh, similar to a cassette. You put it in a VCR. It plays the VHS. If you had it hooked up to a TV, it will show you a movie or a show or something. All right, now we have an old knife and a sheath for the knife. And that's it. That's the end of that slideshow. Not very interesting, but we, we did it anyway. I the pink pony club. I keep on dancing at the pink pony club. Have y'all heard that song? By Chappelle Roan. Chappelle Roan. File cabinet handle. Round handles. They may have been seen on other filing cabinets. Oh. So we need to find a filing cabinet that needs a little wheel. What is that? A cow? In barefoot, yes, you do know what a floppy disk is. <laughs> I should have said something like that, guy. That would have been funny. Incident clipping one. On December 19th, local time, a mass incident involving several students in the auditorium of Princester High School took place. The incident escalated into a violent riot with fighting on a mass scale. The incident reportedly took place in the auditorium while blank as all participants were in the process of blank. This triggered the audience to attack each other, resulting in 13 deaths and 27 injuries. The cause of the incident is unknown at this time. So many files. This must be the archive. Must be. Act 2. Persona, Persona Gonzalo Antonio Isabella Lodovico Francisco. Scene. Convent. In. Act. Description. To cover up the truth, Gonzalo orders the arrest of the three men who witnessed the Queen's confession and imprisons the Queen in the convent. Convent. Gonzalo then goes to have a secret meeting with Ambassador Alagada. After learning of the Queen's captivity, Antonio begins to plot his revenge. Ooh. He's super serious. This is a knife. And if you stab it into somebody's skin, it will poke them and it will hurt. And that's a knife. Miss Irene Mabel, recently former assistant of Dr. Tyler Cooper, Miss Elisa Amanda was demoted because of her refusal to carry out the experimental orders given by Dr. Cooper. On the 16th of, she was injected with Class A amnestics and sent away from Site. To fill this role and at the behest of Dr. Cooper himself, Site Management has decided to promote you to the role of Senior Experimental Assistant. Your interview and authorization session will be held today at 1330 hours, room 711. Please come prepared. We shall. As big as much as we can. Oh, wrong button. Hey, Kung Mong, appreciate you so much. Yeah, we'll be ending the stream in about 19 minutes. So thank you for hanging out with us tonight. It's good to holler at you. And uh, we're doing this game again tomorrow. If you want to come check it out again. Appreciate you. We'll see you soon. One day on the stream, can we play Creepy Nights at Freddy's? We'll have to take a look at Creepy... What's Creepy Nights at Freddy's? I don't... Oh, well, here we go. We need a, we need a locker that looks like this. Which one of these can I put it? Which one of these can I put the key into? Alright, let's go up and see if there's something up here. Oh, okay, that's where we were earlier. Alright, so where in the heck am I finding this stuff? Here's a safe. Nothing in it. Um, okay.
Never heard of that song? Well, it's a song by Chappelle Roan. She's pretty popular. Oh, there it is. Found it. All right, I was wondering where it was. All right, we got that closer to that. For some reason, that was a big deal. Oh, I think it's because of this. We can climb up the ladder now. And we can... Oh, well. I was assuming that we could uh, climb up this ladder, get across. Oh, no wonder I couldn't grab it. I was crouched. Okay, so how do I get over there? What? Oh, I think I've got to line it up with that. Never mind. Okay, it keeps making me crouch. All right, we're lining it up with that vent right there. All right, now this should be what we need to do. Very clever, aren't we? Ah, oh, come on. Just a hair more. There we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking, guy. We're cooking. With a big old skillet on a big old stove. Let, here we go. Tyler Cooper's Journal Part 2. At first, most of the on-site personnel were apprehensive about participating in this project. But after distributing some SCP-701 documents to a few volunteers, they became widely circulated, and the number of people coming to sign up suddenly increased. It's rather curious how it happened, and I haven't quite figured out the, the reason behind it yet, but it's welcome news. I'll take it as good omen. Now I've managed to mobilize the entire station to participate. Every single person. It's my chance to prove myself. An opportunity like this doesn't come every day. Why would Dr. Cooper need so many volunteers? Yeah, we're about to find out, I bet. On Earth is this SCP-701? Yeah, we're about to find out, ain't we? Okay. Well, what am I doing? I'm lost as a goose. My eyes are getting so heavy. I just want to finish this chapter. Oh, they want some rats. Oh, Jesus. What the heck was that? Oh, something behind me, though. On my side. This ought to get me to the seventh floor. All right, seventh floor it is. We have made it. We're on the fifth floor. Oh, what the? All right, come on. How do we open this? Okay, you can't get past the stairs.
I guess we go the other way. Let me in! The Hanged King's Tragedy. Sacrifice everything. Rehearsal notice. First group rehearsal. Blah, blah, blah. Second group rehearsal. Blah, blah, blah. Final group performance. Location room 705, 7th floor. Rehearsal notice? Oh, I guess going down is the way to go. Okay. Guy K, how do you get that wrench next to your name? Yeah, he's a moderator. So he got the wrench. What the hell is going on here? Oh, what exactly. The what the hell is going on? What? What? So we went from 6th to 4th. Are we playing like one of them games? Oh, you see that? I almost fell asleep, y'all. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm getting tired. I'm tired. Almost made a nice little stream clip. I'm like... People will be posting that everywhere. Well, maybe not, but still. It's a possibility. Hmm. The way out of here might have something to do with these clocks. All right, made a noise. Let's we'll see if the clock helps. Oh, fourth floor again, yay. All right, let's try this again. Boom, let's go. I'm trying my best. I'm trying not to give up. I don't want to sleep. I want to finish this. Alright, we got that one set. Got another one. All right, completed the clock puzzle, baby. We got the achievement. Yeah, it did pretty good. Yeah, I'm just trying out this new uh, site that I found called Clip Goat that helps me make clips and stuff. Figured I'd give it a shot. Try to post some more content from the streams. Hopefully get some people involved. More Attract some more people to come hang out with us. Because we are cool to hang out with, are we not? Or how do I get past this? Um, what? Come on. I do not understand. Oh, that's the 8th floor. We need 7th floor, didn't we? Yeah, we were supposed to go to the 7th floor. My bad. Oh, crap. We gotta have reality armor. Oh, yeah. I'm just trying to make some fun stuff. Like, when Mondo it was revealed what was going on with Mondo, I thought, oh, this will be a funny one. Well, I actually, it'll, um, you submit your whole video and it'll pick out clips and give them titles and everything. It's actually really cool. They do charge you like $15 a month. I went ahead and signed up for one month just to see what it was all about. So far, it's working very well. Oh, we're locked there. It's not very sharp, but it still works. All right, wire cutter. Oh my God! Ah! 
This isn't going well, well for Bella. Feeling better now. Woo. Suffocation, like a rope looped around my neck, pulling tight, weightless, hanging, nothing around me, just my feet dangling, struggling, fighting. It will swallow me and make me its slave. Bella, you are completely safe here. Nothing can hurt you. Okay, let's continue. The situation there was much worse than expected. Much worse. I knew I had oh, to get in touch you, with Thank you, Jay. I appreciate that. Uh, I managed to find a phone, and I called her back up. All right, she found a phone. Call her back up. This is Sparrow zero nine eight six eight for Bald Eagle. I'm at Pony Station on the seventh floor. The situation here is much worse than expected. I need backup. Bella, are you sure this is actually what happened? What do you mean? Yes, of course I'm sure. Come on, Bella. Try and focus. Somebody messing with her mind, do you think? What are you talking about? Bella, you never made that phone call. I, of course I... What? I... Pony Station was completely cut off. There was no contact with the outside world whatsoever. A phone call? That would have been impossible. So who did she no, talk to? I... But... I saw... Oh, hell! What did you smell? Tell us what you saw. What did you see? Uh, oh wow, look at this dude. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> no. We must go. Oh hell no. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Go, 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 go. That thing is scary. We made it. She was still at the station, you're right. Alright, wow, that was a close one. Electricity needed. Well, the electricity is out, so we're not getting any of that right now. Yeah, oh, you think? Something bad happened here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do we go outside? I don't guess we do. Alright, is there anything I can do with these little stations? No, there's nothing I can do. Jackson Gamer, welcome to the stream, bro. How you doing, Jackson? It's really good to see you today. You came in just in time. Do we get? How do we get out of here? At the, oh wait, there's a door over here. Oh, we need electricity. Oh, what the heck does it do? Experiment report. The experiment was a multi-object project, including SCP dash blank 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 and blank blank blank. The experiment primarily focused on researching the process of reality distortion, reality distortion, led by Dr. George Thompson. The project lasted for a duration of five days. During the first three days, two Rorschach tests were conducted on SCP blank blank and blank. The level three hypnosis experiment was also conducted on three level D personnel influenced by SCP blank blank blank. Within a short period of time, the experimental subjects revealed varying degrees of immersion state. And on the fourth day, claim being in a primary forest. The trees here are mainly Sequoia and Pinus Carabaya. 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 I don't know. 
On the same day, the Hume level of the surrounding environment was decreased to 37. On the fifth day, the described scene began to invade reality, causing the original experiment site and six experimental subjects to go missing. The project was forced to be suspended. There are no further investigation reports concerning this area. Dr. Thompson believes the experiment was primarily influenced by the reality distortion effects of SCP blank blank blank. Thus can be considered its creation, SCP blank 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 dash one. Uncoded officially. A detailed experiment record can be found in internal document site 105.063.2 encrypted. Okay, I didn't know how I even just did that, but okay, fine. Electricity needed. So we got to figure out how to cut the electricity on. So how do we turn the electricity on? So I guess we don't do that yet. Let's see. Hmm, I don't know. Tyler Cooper Journal 3. SCP-701 scripts have been out for a week now. The participants have had minor rehearsals as described above. But one thing continues to baffle me. They always seem to recite the wrong lines. Every single person. It's strange, almost like it's orchestrated. When I try to correct them, they become defensive, insisting that they read the correct line. But other than that minor hiccup, everything else went well. I'm very much looking forward to the first full rehearsal in room 705 the day after next. After the full rehearsal, all will bear witness to the potential of SCP-701. And my name will become synonymous with it. Tyler Cooper, the genius behind the experiment, who managed to tap its endless potential. This is history in the making. Rehearsals. He's very serious. Play? What is up with this SCP-701 experiment? <clears throat> A lot of weird stuff's going on with this thing. Incident clipping number two. On April 27th, local time, five students were involved in a collective incident at the Cleveland Institute of Arts Drama Club in Ohio. And another faculty member died of stab wounds. The janitor was taken into custody as a suspect in the incident. The statement mentioned that four students used the blank from the ceiling during rehearsals. This was then repeated by the last remaining person after they assaulted the teacher. The teacher died two hours later. Following a forensic investigation of the scene, it was determined that the janitor had no clear motive for committing the crime. He is currently undergoing further observation at a psychiatric hospital. Okay. That was bad. That was a bad situation. Yeah, we're getting a lot of good lore here. Um... Rehearsal script four. Gonzalo obtains poison from Ambassador Alagada and plans to hold a banquet to poison the ministers. Later on, Gonzalo is faced to contend with his conscience. In a monologue, he describes his remorse for his crime, but he knows there's nothing he can do about it now. Antonio, Alinda, and the squire escape from the convent and Antonio promises Alinda that he'll exact his revenge and marry her as the new queen. All right, let's see. We're not getting anything out of those guys. Sound like something was happening behind this door. Oh, uh, what do we do now? I don't know. Well, 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 what to do? What if the mannequins are supposed to represent the people's final moments here? It's possible. I wish they let me do something, but I can't interact with them. That's not opening. Some buttons to push. I would love to push them. Yeah, 
Yeah, they definitely aren't around for us to figure out what's going on. Their people are gone. Oh, here we go. Something. We got electricity. We got electricity. That's what we needed. All right. Now that's more like it. All right, mannequins are gone. Now we got something to do. Now we go back to that original room that we were in right over here, and we can get out of here. All right, we go. Hello, welcome. Thank you for bowing. It is appreciated. We anybody that bows to me will be appreciated. Oh. Open sesame. Oh my god. Yeah, we gotta get the reality anchor down. At the pink bone blue. Why does it look like they're all going to the same place? Rehearsal script five. At the banquet, Antonio bursts in and confirms Gonzalo's murderous crime as well as his own lineage. Gonzalo is opposed by an angry group of ministers. Instead of killing Gonzalo, Antonio ex exiles him to the convent. Antonio then orders his squire to plan his wedding with Alinda, and the play ends with a dance by the group of courtiers. 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 I believe it's courtiers. Hey, it's not my fault they're falling over. You know? They could have gotten turned into mannequins, that's true. They shouldn't have been standing there, you know? They should not have been standing there. They're all falling over like... There's nothing. I guess we knock them all down. Maybe that'll do something. Yeesh. I guess I'm gonna try to make all the mannequins fall. Oh, see, I almost fell asleep again. I'm dozing off. Getting tired. I'm pushing myself to the limit tonight. Let's make all these mannequins fall down. I think that's a key to getting something going here. Although, I did make all these fall down while I go, I think. Very spooky. Like some kind of ceremony is about to go down. We found the bike box. Let's go. Bike box from Pony Station with important data inside. The city encrypted by technology department to be decrypted in other sites. All right, no worries, Jackson. I appreciate you being here, dude. No worries on the delayed response. I'm sitting here falling asleep. I'm like, I'm going to be drooling on the microphone for too long. Jair finds it amusing, which I do. I am happy that you do, Jair. I'm hoping we should be getting close to the end of this one.
Oh, where we at? Whew. Flower Generation Center. Tell you this, I'm gonna sleep good tonight. <laughs> yeah, what was your rating of the Krabby Patty? We got the box at this point, headed up to the top. Bella. So she, does she know where it is or not? The truth here. What do you mean? I'm telling you the truth. I completed my task. I retrieved the black box from Pony Station. Looks like the cognito hazards really did a number on her. What are you talking about? I'm fine. Bella. I don't think there she's was fine. No black box in sight when we found you. So where That's did she put it? Impossible. I'm positive. I, I know I had it in the escape elevator. And there is no escape elevator in Pony Station. None of what you're saying adds up. So what's the uh, so your rating is a six? Why why is such a low rating? It's that seems pretty low for a Dave's. It's just impossible. Did you like the Look sauce? What kind of love. flavor did the sauce have? Try and focus. What really happened? What really happened? Bella, think carefully. I, I, I. Okay. Oh, there was somebody in here. She never had the black box. These people crap. Uh oh. <laughs> this is getting wild. Oh my god. Kill them. They are not worthy. Oh wow. These guys are insane. They got rid of the king. Oh god, that guy. Whoa! Protect by another source is why to run. What? Well, I'm trying to run. What do you think? What? Go! station will have to be locked wow down. that much is for certain get the H out of here he was a Usain Bolt dude Jackson he that guy was not playing it's those mannequins where are they heading but where are all these volunteers gone I like how they're pointing me where to go Would you kindly what? What's up, Barefoot? What's up, dude? Whew. Hey, I didn't fall asleep completely, so I did good. I don't know why. I was, oh, wow. Look at all these hanging people. This has got some really cool visuals. So you see, they don't look like mannequins anymore. Oh, we're talking Bioshock stuff. Gotcha, gotcha. You know, one of these days I'm going to play through the first Bioshock. The only one I've ever played for is Bioshock Infinite. And it was like super, really super good. That's all I can say. Oh, we're going to have to hang ourselves? What is going on here? I serve my Who's there? My 
Whoa, it's this guy again. What? Exactly, what the fuck? Hey train, <laughs> Jackson. That's a good one. Yeah, I like that A train reference there. Very solid. Anybody else know what Jackson Gamer is talking about? A train. I do. Goddamn cognito hazard again. I need to leave right now. I loved Infinite. I thought Infinite was amazing. So yeah, Bioshock One playing it would be a good idea, really. But. Hey, stabbing me, man. Oh, wow. There's a whole sword, man. That's a whole ass sword. I don't like that. That hurts. I want to leave. So much fighting. Why can't we all just get along, guys? Don't hit me. Oh, look, she's a mannequin now. Don't you let her win. Don't you let them beat us up. There we go. Boom, baby. Get it. Get it. Take that. Boom. Just smashed that head. That's how you get out of that. Yeah, we got to get out of here. This place is too crazy. What the what? Yeah, maybe we'll have to do a special playthrough of Bioshock one day. She is seeing a lot of things. And Jair, why, why do you want to stop the stream? What's going on? Whoa! Oh, we get to be the we get to, to have the swords, do some stabby stabs. With my blood, I serve my king. This stuff right here is insane. With my blood, I serve my king. Yep, guy, you got it correct, my brother. With my blood. I serve my king. She should be chilling. With my blood, I serve my Don't king. Don't do it, Lur. Don't do it, girl. With my blood, I serve my king. She's gonna fail for this trick. With my blood, I serve my king. Oh, whoa, we just killed this guy. What? Well, that was pretty weak, freaky deaky right there. Her condition is unstable. I've just injected her with a sedative, but you need to let her rest for a while. Thanks, doctor. Well, well that monster was no what? joke. We haven't found the black box. That anomaly was insane. You still don't get it, do you? Get what? What do you mean? There was no the black, black box. box. Is merely a vehicle for recording the truth, but a black box isn't always a black box. You mean... Oh, Bad right. Boys is awesome, man. She is now the black box. She's the black time box. for a cold one? Because our work here is done. Oh, the boys, not Bad Boys. Yeah, the boys... I love the boys. I think it's hilarious. It's got some of the funniest moments. And the craziest moments that you'll I ever see in a superhero movie. With my blood. I doubt any time that anybody else will match the craziness in that show. But we love it. Me and Honey love it. We watch every episode. The 
black box has been properly contained at site 105 and pending further investigation. That one was really cool. Above is the full record of the inquiry. Yeah, she needed a Snickers, didn't she, Jackson? She needed a Snickers. All right, guys. Well, that is where we're going to stop for today. So I do appreciate y'all being here. This was a pretty cool game. This is awesome. Barefoot again. Thank you for this. 20 cents well spent, my friend. It's very cool. I apologize for dozing off a couple times there. I didn't uh, plan on that, but, you know, it happens when you've been up early. And, but I love these streams. I love hanging out with you guys. Y'all are amazing people. And I really do appreciate y'all being here and hanging out with me tonight and enjoying this insane game. We're going to continue this game tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Central Time. And I hope y'all can join me again. And let's see if we can finish up this wild weird game it's supposed to be a four hour game so we did about two hours today so hopefully we'll wrap it up tomorrow always a fun stream hanging out with you love you guys stay cool double peace jackson double peace i'm out of here triple peace that's what i'm talking about <laughs> see y'all tomorrow night Bye bye